Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful weekend. In this video, I will be listing the new updates to the new Pop uh, Animate Pro. So, we, re we just released last week and more features and updates and basic, basic, some fixes has been done based on the requests from the users. Um, so, we'll be going over them. Um, they're quite exciting. Um, so, the first one, which is quite my one of my favorite, is now you can basically favorite your animation. Um, so if you're using an animation constantly, you can favor, um, add that to a specific particular category where you can always get back to it. Um, so if you look in the category, you can see we have a new category called favorite. If we click on it, um, we already have one there. Um, but by default, you should have nothing there. So if you, let's say you have an animation, um, you have this brace to hang and you use it frequently, you can just quickly click hat it and then it adds it to your favorite so you can easily access it anytime you want. Um, the next is um, more of a bug that has been fixed. So if you go to um, previously, when you search for the animation, um, like the icons doesn't match the name or it takes time to load. So that was an issue within Blender, um, but we're able to fix it. And that fix also comes with some speed up where it loads faster now. So you can notice we click on it and this is trying to preview the entire thumbnail for the entire animations here so and they're quite a lot um, so it loads faster um, it previews more accurately um, so that's that um, we also another bug fix was um, previously if you had an animation in the world um, in, in the center and you apply it uh, um, it works nice, but if you move your character to a different position, let's move this to a different position. Um, previously, if you apply it, the animation jumps back to the center of the world. So that has been fixed. Um, now everything should work as expected. If you place it here, the animation should apply at that position. So if you have a large scene and trying to populate it, um, it's, it's very handy. Um, the next one is the tweak orientation now supports bone selection. So, um, one of the mod one of in the previous stage of applying animation, um, let's say you want to tweak your orientation. Um, f be uh, formerly, or <laughs> in the earlier release, you would have to come here and search for the name like shoulder. Um, so that works, but we needed it to be more user friendly. Um, so now, if you click on the selection, um, now you can select any or see the properties for any selected bones and then you can adjust them right there so it makes it easier for you to quickly uh, make changes without having to feel like you're doing work okay and then finally we have um, more categories of more animation so we have previously the locomotion and miscellaneous when we're not here so we've added that um, so now you have a bunch of new animations of basically running walking um, and then even talking for the miscellaneous um, so it just makes it easier for you to assess those type of animation that you might want to use more frequently um, and yeah and then overall general UI fixes um, we cleaned up some buttons to make sure it feels more user-friendly um, um, so we hope to keep working on it um, so stay tuned for that if you have not gotten your copy the link will be in the description um, so bye bye for now